Hey everybody, this is Dark Guardsman, we're back with another video. So we're here in the old original Volts mod pack for 152 Minecraft. And the reason we are here is I kind of want to talk about the next step in Atomic Science. Now the, the current version of Atomic Science for 112, we only have the fission reactor which is right there. It's in the mostly working state, we've got the turbines, we've got the thermal system, we've got the radiation system. It is functional, you can generate power. It's good enough for the moment, we can do all the processing machines and everything else. So that's there, it's a functional playable mod that does its main purpose of generating power. The next step of course is to start getting back some of the other content, which will be the fusion reactor, the particle accelerator, and of course the little UU crafting system, along with some of the other things like the control rods, the temperature uh, monitor, stuff like that. But we've got to redesign all that stuff, because the plan for updating Atomic Science was not to update it in its pure state that it was originally created by Cal Clavia. The concept was to rewrite it from the ground up, take the content that was there, reimagine it, re-envision it, and try to bring it back in a way that it still looks and feels like the old version, but underneath it's much more improved, has much more versatility, is much more usable and everything else. The Parlux Accelerator, however, I kind of want to take it that to a little bit more and actually try to almost completely redesign it while still ensuring that we have something that looks and works like a Particle Accelerator. Now with the current the version of 152, the Parlux Accelerator works in a most simplistic way. You build a tube out of magnetic blocks, glass, etc. You put a controller on one end, you supply it items and power, and what it'll do is it'll produce basically, um, let's see if we get the items down here. It'll produce antimatter, and you can produce in different sizes, and it should produce strange matter. It might be called dark matter in this version. Nope, it's still called strange matter. It'll produce either of those two items. Now, with the antimatter, you could, of course, craft that into antimatter explosives, or you could have used it in the fomentation chamber to produce power, which is something a lot of people did do in the Volts mod pack. And the alternative is you could produce strange matter, which you can use to make the red matter explosives, or you could stick into this machine over here to actually sit there and craft uh, whatever item you were looking to craft with. Of course, you had to feed it power, and we could see the strange matter rod over time to actually do its process. With the new version, what I'm thinking about doing is somewhat keeping the tube design but I want to modify how the electromagnets work. Instead of having it where you have to put them like every single system, what I kind of want to do is get a system where you would have an electromagnet every so often. Let me go ahead and do this to kind of demonstrate it a little bit better. Uh, with the old version, you could use glass or this. These were both basically the same. This is electromagnet, glass is electromagnet. Same concept. I think even the recipes were, yeah, they were pretty much the same item. But what I'm going to do is kind of do an electromagnet every so often. That way you get A, a better visual. B, you have a little bit more control over the material cost and how you lay it out. And the idea would be is electromagnets would provide a boost to the particle as they pass through. And this would kind of skyrocket. You would put power to each of these magnets. Or we'll figure out some system how that's going to work. I haven't quite thought it through entirely. It's kind of the purpose of this video is to get a little bit of feedback from you guys and kind of talk about my ideals. So we can kind of bounce back and forth and figure out what is a good middle ground on the design concept of the old, the new, and kind of what you guys want to see as well. So we do the electromagnets every so often. The other part I want to do is kind of take this controller and not quite make it part of the structure. Have a controller over here that would do the logic driven system that you would have and you would place something like over here. And you would maybe put some like monitors on it or something and you would be able to do various different things based on kind of what you were doing. Um, so you'd have maybe a display that would go, hey, your particle accelerator is doing such and such, running at such and such process, uh, doing everything else. This would connect your particle accelerator. Then your particle accelerator would have energy hatches that you would attach either to the frame or to the coils. I'm thinking the coils are probably the best method. Uh, these would then power the coils and you would have an item input hatch, item output hatch, fluid inputs, and fluid output hatches. These would vary depending on what you were kind of doing. Um, the concept would be is that the item input and output hatches could be used, of course, for inserting not only the material you want to do, but also this empty cell. So you would put this, uh, for example, into the output hatch and it would allow you to fill it with antimatter from once you've captured or strange matter once you've captured or whatever other particles we decide to produce with the system. You would do that in the item output hatch. And then you would have a fluid output hatch that, of course, would let you do output the stuff as a fluid direct into a storage tank that then could then be used for crafting or whatever other process you want to use. Uh, we of course have the energy ones as well and vice versa all that kind of stuff that would make it a lot easier to work with this because one of the biggest complaints was when working with particle accelerator is that this block was really hard to get to. You can kind of see it from this perspective is that you really can only access three sides. So you'd have your power in, item through the top, and then items at the bottom. And then you may not be able to get into this to kind of work with it and everything else. And then you had to have this redstone system where you would turn the machine on and off because it was off by default off. And I kind of want to do the redstone control over here, be able to do a some kind of 
injection chamber is what I'm thinking. So your item input wouldn't even be part of the main structure. You'd have a structure that would come off of this. And let's demonstrate this by building something out here. So you'd have your injection chamber like this. And what you would do is you'd have the item hatch right there that would then shoot the initial particle in that would then go around. And then maybe at the other side, you would then have your capture output, but within your output system. Or it might be just a block. To be honest, it really doesn't matter. A block might be a good option. We could do this a variety of different ways to make it work and do it functional. The other side of this I want to do is I kind of want to make this system a lot more dynamic. With the old version, you more or less had a few patterns you would have to build in because it had a degree where once you took a corner, you lost energy. So you want to build the length of it so high to get a good power system through it. This also was kind of tricky as chunk loading was a problem, so it kind of made issues with that and you had an error gap in the middle. And one of the things that was really hard to do was actually build up with these two. So I'm thinking we're definitely going to want to allow stuff to be built up. I'm definitely going to want to allow things to actually be changed and modified so you can do other things with this. Uh, I want to be able to let the particle center be used as a particle cannon so you could get some stuff up the speed and then you could eject that particle out of the front of this and shoot it off in a distance or have a cannon mount that let you aim it or whatever. Like do some really cool half-life or portal stuff where you have a little ball that bounces around. So there's some stuff I kind of want to do with that. And there's a few other things I kind of want to do this, but the first thing I want to do is start to get working on the design, start talking to you guys about what you want to see and what you want to do with the particle separator and kind of what integration you want to see with it, layouts, design, shapes, maybe some issues you had with the old version, maybe some things you liked about the older version, uh, kind of all those different things I would like to hear back from you guys, either here on, on in the comment section on YouTube and the Discord server that we do have. I'll even take things on Twitter and Reddit, whatever you just guys want to do suggestion-wise. Anyways, I will see you guys later and hope to hear back from you all.